Hi, this is Rob Hawley from the Fremont Peak Observatory. Welcome to my series on photographing the solar eclipse. On August 21st, 2017, the shadow of the moon will cross from Oregon to South Carolina. This series will help you take photos of that event that you'll be proud of. But first, a little of who I am. I've traveled the world looking at eclipses. This map shows all of the eclipses that I've seen. Every one of those red dots is a place I've traveled to. And I'm generally regarded as having taken some good pictures over the years, partially by bitter experience of things that I will tell you about what not to do. But first I want to introduce you to some eclipse terminology. We refer to the phases of an eclipse as contacts. C1 is the moon just touching the sun, C2 is the beginning of totality, C3 the end, and C4 is the end of the eclipse. A diamond ring occurs right before C2 and right after C3. And Bailey's beads happen during the diamond ring. They are the last little bits of the sun shoning through the valleys of the moon. These are really only visible in your photographs. To meet YouTube requirements, I've broken this series into chapters. You're enjoying the first chapter, which is an introduction as to who I am and the series. The next chapter talks about why photographing eclipses is hard. I then talk about equipment and what you should be bringing with you to the eclipse site. Next I talk about Eclipse Day and a detailed timeline of what's going to be happening. I end this series with a discussion about where to go for the eclipse.